I was looking for a solution to charge my RV batteries while I was towing it down the road. Normally, when you connect a seven-way pigtail, your truck will charge your RV's batteries. I upgraded my RV to lithium batteries, and my truck wouldn't recognize the lithium battery charging needs. I installed a Victron Orion Smart DC to DC charger, and now my RV's batteries actually have a charge at the end of a long travel day. Let's go over how the DC to DC charger works. This senses when RV batteries need a charge, and it takes power from the tow vehicle to charge them. Using the DC to DC charger also protects the alternator in the tow vehicle because it limits how much power the RV's batteries can take from the vehicle. There's two different styles of DC to DC chargers. There's isolated and non-isolated. The non-isolated charger will just boost the voltage going through it to charge from one battery to the other. This Victron charger is an isolated style, so it separates voltage from one battery to the other. This gives a DC-DC charger the ability to charge a lithium battery from a lead acid battery because you can set the voltage you want it to charge at. This is important because lithium batteries charge at a different voltage than lead acid batteries. So why did I go with a Victron Orion Smart Charger? First off, Victron makes high quality products that are made to last a long time. When I plug it into my RV, it works. I don't have to fight with it to get it to start charging or stay charging. I also chose a smart model so I can use a Bluetooth app to change the settings and view the status of it on my phone. To put this in a truck trailer setup like I have, there needs to be a separate set of wires run from the truck to the trailer. The factory wire that goes through the seven way connector is not heavy enough to provide a full charge. In my case, with a 30 amp charger, I ran six gauge wire down the frame of the truck through an Anderson type connector to a DC DC charger in the trailer. After the charger, there's a fuse connected before the RV batteries. All right, so let me show you this setup. Underneath the hood on the Ford trucks, the upfitter switches hook up in this area. So this is my positive hookup, and then the battery negative is up here. Now these wires are running down the frame. I ran these through the frame, which I'll do this again. I run them on the outside of the frame because that was really hard to do. This length of truck, I would say around 25 feet of wire is what I used. I would start with 30 feet of wire that we have enough extra to make all that bends and loops and tie everything up securely. So this wire is running from the batteries. It's coming down here. It's going down the frame all the way down to the end of the truck. And then once we get down here, we'll hop underneath the truck so I can show you. So these wires are coming out of the frame this way and they come right up here to the back side of the factory seven way connector. Keep in mind, these are not waterproof. They need to be mounted in the area they can stay dry. Mine is mounted above the generator in the front storage bay. Once the wires are run, turn on the engine of the vehicle and the charger will power up so it can be added to the app and change the settings. Now let me show you how the app works. So once we have these chargers started, we'll open up the app. We'll see the Victron Orion Smart and my Victron app. We open this up. We'll see the status of the charger. Now we click on the gear in the top, B for the settings, and battery settings where we change the voltages. So this is where you can change your float voltage and absorption. Absorption is your bulk charge also. So mine's 13.6, since so 14.4. If you click on one of these, you can change your voltages up or down. Once you're all set with the voltage, hit OK. When your settings are all where you want them to be, we have 14.4 on absorption, 13.6 on float. Bulk time limit is one hour, and the rebulk voltage offset is 0 0.10 volts. When everything is done, hit the back arrow, and you are good to go. Putting in a DC to DC charger gives you the ability to run your fridge off the inverter while driving down the road. I have an RV style fridge that draws 600 watts of power and this charger provides 360 watts. So I can't keep my batteries 100% full in the drive days, but before the DC DC charger, my batteries would be dead at 0% after five hours of driving. Now with running the DC DC charger, I can turn off the propane, run the fridge off the inverter, and I still have 60% of my batteries at the end of an eight hour drive day. Once I installed this Victron Orion Smart DC DC charger, it solved the problem of my truck not opening enough power to charge my lithium batteries.